Yeah. story so far? Yeah. yeah. We have the 80s, bad clothes, I know. Yeah. Right there. We have the 90s, a lot of sexual provocation, experimentation, truth or dare. Thank you. Thanks. I'm gonna, you can all thank me for allowing you to have the courage to come out. That's when we get into the real heartbreak. Because no one breaks your heart like your children. Oh, I don't mean that in a bad way. I love my kids. In fact, how lucky am I to perform with them every evening on my show? Literally couldn't walk from my bed to the to the toilet. 
I would call him every other day and ask him why I didn't have any energy. When was my energy going to come back? When was I going to feel myself again? When could I go back on tour again? When, 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 when? And all he would say was, go outside in the sun. Like, have you seen my skin? <laughs> Just would say, go outside in the sun, you need vitamin D. Your kidneys will keep working. And I, I couldn't put those two together. And I hate the sun. But I did it anyways. It was so hard for me to walk from my house to the backyard and sit in the sun. I know that sounds insane, but it was difficult. And I didn't know when when I could get up again and when when I could be myself again and when I would have my energy back. It was a strange thing to finally not feel like I was in control and that was my lesson to let go. So, thank you to everyone who is here that took care of me to listen to all of my endless complaining and need for predictions that I could not have. You are patient and you are kind. You still are. You still help me take care of everybody I love and sick. Thank you so much wherever you are. Um, and obviously, again, returning to the subject of my children, when my manager, the great bastard, came to me and said, he's probably standing right next to Dr. Avis right now. They're planning, and they have a new plot to almost kill me again. <laughs> um, when he said, well, well, when do you think you want to go back on tour? Or do you think you want to go back on tour? Um, I took the oxygen out of my nose. I looked at him. And I said, in two fucking months! I, 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 didn't, I just said it. And sometimes you just gotta say shit. Put that out in the universe, and it happens. Are you with me, Los Angeles? And I did. My children, really, my children are what really helped me pull through because they worked so hard. And, did you hear that weird noise? Is that God? God? My children, I didn't, I, they worked so hard, I didn't want to let them down. So I just set a date, and that date came a reality. And I didn't want to disappoint my fans. I never do. I want to provocate. I want to masturbate. But I, want, but I don't want to disappoint my fans. So. So. So saw needles on the wounds to see if they pop. My stepmother used to say that. It used to drive me insane. When I'd say so, she'd say so, not so buttons on balloons and see if they pop. How irritating is that? I have a lot of stepmother stories, but not time. Anyways, come on, girl!